the Golden State Warriors are back as being the underdogs, like how they were back from 2019 to 2021. And now people are doubting them because they think that they're not going to win a championship. But in reality, they are going to win a championship because of the fact that they're always so used to being labeled as the bad team, the team that they're Steph. Steph is putting a winning team around them, but that's yeah, 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 that yeah, yeah. sound good. Listen, listen, yeah, it sounds good when it comes out your mouth, but you know we can see it right here in real life that that that, that, yeah, that is because there's no way if he was there and you would have like, you would have made the trade. Made I'm it, giving right. away a couple yeah. picks and a couple drive picks. And now I go get market in. And I can still go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I don't see Pajinski as no like high potential turnaround Jeremy Lin type of come out and give you something crazy. He's solid. Don't get me wrong. He's solid. No, I mean, yeah, no, he's no. solid because he has the team he has. We yeah. don't know what he's going to be without when that. When yeah. it's, when the office change and all that stuff, so. The team that Steph can't carry. The team that was never good because of KD. All these false narratives. When in reality, they might steal a chip from someone this year, a repeat, in the same decade, which is the 2020s as the support. First reason why the Warriors win the championship for 2025 is the fact that they have John Dickamingo, who's a young athlete who's willing to want to be more athletic and be and have more minutes on the court. He's willing to want to utilize his skills of dunking and the skills of dunking and shooting and passing and somewhat of his good IQ, I believe he personally has. He'll be great. And not just that, but with him, you also have the new talent, the new depth we have with these experienced players, Buddy Heal, Kyle Anderson, all these players. Even they say Kyle Anderson is not all that good. I don't care because at the end of the day, the Warriors always know how to develop their players from good, bad to good. You saw how Andrew Wiggins, even though Andrew Wiggins isn't doing good like how he was, he's going to come back this year, which we're going to get to that. But with this depth, it's going to be good because you already have this new, you have these new players that you signed and they think these new players are not going to do well. But in reality, they are going to do good because you got them with also your OG 22 championship veterans like Peyton, Looney, who was always a good rebounder with Draymond and Steph. With Draymond and Steph, you're already set because Steph's going to make it look Steffordless, as they say on TNT, as they say on NBA on TNT. Did you know that the Warriors had three adversities they went through and nobody never picked this up? Maybe some. The Warriors would have won the 2016 championship if it weren't for Curry's MCL injury, Iguodala's injury, and also Draymond being suspended. In 2019, we would have won the championship without KD because we swept Portland 4-0. And also, Clay was doing a killer in the NBA Finals. Especially that last game, Game 6, Clay was emerging. Till eventually, he tore his ACL. Then we lost 2019 and 2020 season. We probably would have been a playoff team. And I bet you in 21 we would have won that championship. But in real life, let's go for you. 2021, we were close. But we lost to Memphis. But we lost to the Lakers. And only three-pointer. If LeBron didn't make that three-pointer, it would have went to overtime. We potentially probably would have made it. I think we probably would have left the second round or first round by the time we went in the 2021 playoffs. Steph Curry said, What's up, it? Come back. Bottle this up. Everybody make the right strides. Take advantage of the summer and don't want to see us next year. And once he said that, all the bats broke loose. Because starting in early 2021, and this without Clay, we were already 18 and 2. Our record was already good before Clay came in January. And I'm going to show you a picture up there. That should show us right there. Now, without Clay Thompson, we're still going to be good. Without KD, not just 2015 chip, but also the 2022 chip to prove that we don't need KD. We don't need no all-star cal caliber player. As long as we got Steph coordinating the offense, Draymond coordinating defense, we're good. Clay did a good job. I'm not going to say that Clay did not do a good job. Clay did a great job in helping the Warriors go win all the four of their chips. But the first time, he did good. Playoffs around 2016, game six Clay emerged, yes. As KD came, he started being the more back front guy, the guy in the background. In 2022, he helped out a little bit. But Clay was just that middleman. Not in a bad way, but in a good way. He helped out bring the balance because he had good offense and defense. But once he tore the ACL, his defense left. And so now his offense kind of went down a little bit too. But that, but right now with the Warriors roster for this 2024-2025 season, I think we got it. I think we're ready. I think what we're going to do is we're going to make it to the finals. 
and I'm going to predict Boston versus the Warriors 2025, and we're going to go make it all the way to Game 6. And if not the Game 6, then we'll probably sweep them to Game 4, or potentially make like a little 3-1 lead and make it in a Game 5. But that's my take with the Golden State Warriors and what I think they're going to do. Because they've been through so much adversity and they always had great chemistry besides Draymond always causing the issues. But with Draymond's little ways, he always strong with yada yada this and that, yada yada yada. But overall, he's a great player and I believe in my opinion, he's a great person. You can't knock him out there. He's a great basketball player and a great person. And as Steph say, night night. And also, if you had digged that content that I did and it might have been a little motivational to you, inspirational to you, especially if you're a Warriors fan or just a person who deals with challenges or need inspirational advice, please make sure to subscribe to my main YouTube channel, which is called Development Pod. It's a podcast, but now it's mainly just a YouTube channel on topics such as following your purpose, leaving the traditional route such as college 9 to 5, just overall everyday conversations, but I try to go a little more deeper into them and give you the advice you need to move forward. When I bring motivational, inspirational advice, I usually either do what I'm doing now, being a talking head, interview people who found their purpose, or either I may vlog content, or I'll be outside, I'll be inside, I'll be at places. That's the point of my podcast, is just to embrace change, purpose, and faith. So if you're interested, go check out one of my videos, and like, share, and subscribe, and comment if you're interested in all of them.